All right, so I want us to uh, find all C uh, satisfying the mean value theorem. So I've given you this function on this interval, and I want to find all C that satisfies the mean value theorem for this function on this interval. So let's see. Well, if we're going to talk about the mean value theorem, we need to know something about the slope of the secant line and then something about the derivative as well. So let's go ahead and find the slope of the secant line. So we want what f of 2 minus f of 0 over 2 minus 0. Well, this is just what f of 2 is 8 minus 2 is 6 minus 0 over 2. So this is just 3. The, the, the slope of the secant line is 3. And now we're going to take the derivative, and we're going to get f prime of x is 3x squared minus 1. And so if you want to just set the x's, 3x squared minus 1 equals to 3, that's fine. You can also work with c's, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'll just leave it as x's. So 3x squared minus 1 equals 3. What, what I'm talking about, in case you're confused, is Technically, the mean value theorem involves a c. So you could say, OK, I'm going to solve. Where does 3c squared minus 1 equals 3? It doesn't matter if you use c's or x's. It's the same. So uh, I guess I'm switching to orange now. But I'm just going to solve this equation. So I get 3x squared equals 4. So x squared equals 4 thirds. So x is plus or minus 2 over root 3. Uh, now, wait a minute. That's all fine and good that we got 2. You'll sometimes get 2, but we're only operating on the interval from 0 to 2. So our x is uh, x equals positive 2 over root 3. So x equals 2 over root 3 satisfies the mean value theorem. OK. And I thought you might want to see a picture of this, so I pulled up Mathematica and I graphed it. Uh, whoops, what's going on here? Uh, here is our function f, that's that cubic. Here is the slope of the secant line, x is 0 out to 2. Here's the secant line. There's our c right somewhere in here. Uh, whoops, I'm sorry, right there actually. And there's the tangent line going through c. And you can see they are perfectly parallel. So the mean value theorem works like a charm. So a lot of the homework in this section is going to be you guys f uh, doing problems like this, finding points that either satisfy the mean value theorem or satisfying Rolle's theorem. And Rolle's theorem is even, even nicer. You just do the same thing. You solve for where is the derivative equal to 0 in, instead of the secant line. So uh, you might realize that Rolle's theorem actually is just a special case of the mean value theorem. Um, once you know the mean value theorem, then, then Rolle's theorem is just a special case. But we state it separately because there can be, uh, Rolle's theorem can be used sometimes, and in, in, uh, it's a little easier to manage, and it can be somehow easier seen in certain situations. So I'll end this video here, and then we'll probably finish up with one more.